<sighs> Gosh, there's got to be something I can do outdoors this weekend. I mean, I can't sit and watch another Harry Potter marathon. I just can't do it. There's got to be somewhere to go. But where could it be? I know where I can go and I know how I can get there. Navigate Outdoorsimus! All right, well, welcome back Outdoor Navigators. Today we're at the Red River Gorge in Kentucky and we're going to be hiking the Oxier Ridge Trail and also part of the double arch trail so there's going to be a lot to look at today so let's go So the Red River Gorge never disappoints. If you've never been here, you definitely need to check it out. This trail here is one of the more popular ones, so I would advise you to get here early because the parking gets backed up as the day goes on. So, but you can see just, you know, when it comes to being able to see the gorge, this trail here will really lets you in to all the beauty that it holds so allow yourself plenty of time because if you if you try to rush on this hike you're going to miss a lot of stuff we're out on the uh, oxier trail loop and i gotta tell you we've been about uh, i think a mile and a quarter and this trail does not disappoint Okay, number one, we started, we're going clockwise today. Or no, we're going counterclockwise. So we're going counterclockwise on this loop. And so far, I mean, it's been awesome, man. The trail, you know, you just, you're pretty much walking out of ridge. Okay, and to your left and to your right, you're treated with some awesome views. I mean, it's crazy. Now, one thing about this trail it does get a lot of traffic so if you're the kind of hiker that wants to get out and not run into a bunch of people well this ain't going to be the one to take because we've seen quite a few people here and you know it's cloudy and not the best day but like on that picturesque day there's going to be a lot of people running around so uh but also with that in mind if you're a new hiker, okay, and you don't feel comfortable maybe getting out on a trail that's real remote, this would be a good one, okay, because if you happen to get in trouble, you're going to have somebody walk up on you pretty quick. I mean, there's, there's plenty of foot traffic here, so, you know, that would be something to consider. Well, guys, I mean, I'm sitting here walking, looking into this camera, and I'm missing stuff because... I don't know that there's a step that don't go by that there's not something awesome to see. So I'm going to get off here, uh, here in a minute. I'll give you some views. Hold on, I'll give you one right now. So that's to the left of me. Now, I'll walk up here just a little bit. And I don't know if you can see it, but that's gorge over there too. It's all over the place, man. This place is awesome.
right guys so there's haystack rock right there and if you look across sewer i believe that's double arch over let me zoom in on here see that arch that's double arch So, this is uh, this is what you get up here, I'm telling you. If you haven't been to Red River Gorge, this would be a good place to start because you're going to see a lot of stuff. You're going to see a lot of cool stuff. And we're probably, we're probably about two miles from the trailhead. That was the biggest level of Opsy Is it in Imagine if we came the other way, we'd had to walk up all these steps. All right, guys, well, we come off of the Outlook Air Courthouse Rock, and now we're kind of walking down in this valley. So, you know, whichever way you look, you got beautiful views left and right. Trail has still been awesome. I mean, you can tell it's well-traveled, you know, there's... Eh, you know some roots rocks here and there, but it's relatively smooth. So You know good times when you come down here and look looks like There's a good maintenance crew coming down here. They're keeping things cut up and all that kind of stuff So Yeah, good to go man Oxier trail loop I don't know that it gets any better And now we start the uphill climb. So, so far it's been all on the ridge. It's been uh, down in the low land. And now we're getting ready to go up. So there's where we walked. We walked down that creek, down that draw. And now we're getting ready to head up. So 
I'll talk to you again when I get on top. All right, well, we got on top, finally. And I'll tell you, it's a pretty good climb, but uh, we got on top and look here, we got nice, wide, smooth trail. So, you know, our quads are burning, our calves are hurting, but uh, we got this nice trail to walk, kind of stretch it out before we go and destroy ourselves with some pizza at Miguel's. So this Oxier trail loop, we haven't finished it yet. When I get done here, I'll give you the final tally. But uh, it's gonna come in somewhere around five and a half, six mile loop. Uh, really good hike. I mean, it's just good views everywhere. You walk up on top of a ridge, you get to see the gorge and all its beauty. All right, then you go down inside the gorge, get down there to a creek, you get to listen to you know creeks running get to listen to that running water just brings your blood pressure down and uh, makes it a great day yeah so like this is you know if you're not an avid hiker or anything this is a good place to come you know it's not going to kill you but it is going to it's going to be an awakening for you i mean you'll be like man number one you'll be like i want to do this again because you're going to see some beautiful stuff and uh, it's going to motivate you you're going to want to get out and then you're also going to get motivated because you're going to be like man i've been sitting on the couch way too much eating too many chips drink too many pops because it does that to me every time i get out it re-motivates me to get in shape and uh and that's what it does so you get outdoors uh, get some fresh air you get some good views you get some good exercise and you get some good motivation for a healthier life so you know that's what i want y'all to do man navigate outdoors and get you some of this so i'm gonna finish this hike up we'll wrap it up here at the trailhead i'll show you what the trailhead looks like so you can see what kind of parking there is and uh if you got any questions make sure you put them in the comments and i'll answer them for you all right so Auxiliary, uh, Auxiliary Trail Loop. We finished it. It was about five miles. It was a good hike. When I get home, I'll give you the full review. Uh, we got some people waiting on uh, some parking. So uh, here, I'll show you what the parking looks like. So this is a very popular spot to hike. So as you can see, this is what the parking lot looks like. And uh, yeah, it stays packed. So we've got some people here waiting on us to pull out. So we're going to get get packed up and get out of here so i'll talk to you later all right so quick trail review the trail name was the oxier trail loop it was located in the red river gorge in the beautiful state of kentucky uh the trailhead used okay you can find the location in the uh description uh alternate trailheads ah, there was pretty much just one although there was some other parking that was close by uh the parking lot it was gravel uh the road out there was gravel. It accommodates multiple vehicles and there's additional parking on spots along the road. I advise you getting there early because during peak season this thing gets packed. Length of hike is 5.13 miles. Elevation gain 896 feet. Moving time two and a half hours. We spent three hours total. You got to allow some time to take pictures because there's many to take. It was a loop trail. The level of difficulty I would call intermediate type of trail it was dirt type of terrain rugged suggested gear bring a camera because you're going to want like i said take many pictures uh, phone signal is good with at&t considerations advise your children that there are many uh, falling risks and any guess you take you know make sure you keep a good eye on everybody uh, local amenities i suggest eating at miguel's pizza man i mean after a day's hiking you just can't beat it 
Uh, you can see my all trails link in the description and it will tell you exactly how the trail went and show you some pictures. And uh, hey, guys, thanks for stopping by and make sure you navigate outdoors. Oh.